One went to uh, one HF station and one went to this HF station. Perfect. I thought we used them for the same radio. And you may be able to see this in the video. One of the solar panels is flooded with water because it rained so hard last night and it was cloudy most of today and most of yesterday. But still, we used a Bioeno Power 100, uh, sorry, 12 volt. Uh, battery. So and, half hour lifeboat battery. Yeah. And a body pull power mini which looks like it turned off. Not the real. And as you can see, this shows what the battery is giving to the radio. And it's giving right now 1.3 just about volts. Or sorry, yes. amps. And 26.6 amp hour. And here is what the solar power, the solar panel is giving the battery, which is 4.33 volts, okay. amps, I keep saying the right thing, and 19.6 amp hours. And the charge means that the battery is charging from it. And even though you, it's in water. Yeah, even though it's in water and it was cloudy most of the time. So if you push select, it shows you how long the, uh, the hours this, is. Yeah, how long it's been on. So a little over 26 hours, and it shows the power it's giving now, 66 watts, and the highest amount of power, which was a little over 104 watts, and how much amp hours the battery used, which is 6.99. Now, did you see that the amp hours went from 7 to 6.99? Yes. That's because right now the battery is being charged by the solar panels. And it went down to 9.8. So what kind of antennas did you use? Well, at first we tried using a Radio Waves Pathfinder end-fed half-wave put up as an inverted V, but that didn't really work too well, so we decided to turn it into a sloper by having it at the top of the mast, which you can't see right now, and tying it to a pole that is a wooden pole that is off to the side and we added radials, and that worked a little better, and we also used a crappy fishing pole 20 meter antenna with radials. Hope, what was fun about field day for you? Um, that we got to operate, and we also, um, I got on some with the Boy Scouts, and they learned how to operate from not knowing anything at all, really. Um, to being pretty good operators in just a short amount of time. And um, Grace, huh? what was uh, fun for you? <laughs> um, the midnight snack. Midnight snack? Talk about the midnight snack. <laughs> and the caution tape. Talk about the midnight snack so we can The Boy right Scouts by. were cooking today and, well, at, at um, field day this year and um, there was this midnight snack that we were, were awake for and I wasn't sleepy at all and there was this fruitcake which I didn't like but there was two kinds of brownies that were really good. Hey Tana, what was enjoyable for you? A lot of things. Um, the food was good, really good and midnight snack. I liked that we could at least be warm. We didn't have to be freezing like some of the people up north. Yeah. yeah. It got hot at all. Very hot. 
So, Faisana, what is this that you've got written down here? Explain this. Well, this is to make it easier for pretty much anybody, but for today, the Boy Scouts, to, when they're getting on the air, be easier to remember what to say. So we were using this call sign, and then we have it written out in the phonetic alphabet. That was our class, phonetic alphabet, and our section, phonetic alphabet. And on the back, if they were going to call CQ, we well, wrote down, go to station call. yeah, this was the go to station call, which is also our family club call. And so if they were, if they were going to call CQ, they would use this and just read that. So why don't you guys talk about the go box? What do you got in the go box? Well, we have a power supply. To Did we use it this weekend? No. Okay. Because we have we the solar panel and some environmental and batteries and we have the charge controllers and all of the MFJ speakers, a Yesu FT991, which we used for a lot of our contacts, and it's not turned on right now, but a Yesu FT8800, which is 2 meters and 440, and a tuner to make sure we don't blow up the radio. So why don't we go look at the back of the, a lot of people have asked about what's in the back of the go box. Let's see how you guys put it together. Talk about what you've got in here. You've got the rig runner, so it's got all the power poles on it, right? Yeah. Yes. And there's fuses, so we usually keep an extra bag of fuses. And this is the power supply back the HF radio back with the antenna connected right, to so it. Let's disconnect that antenna and show how we actually usually have the um, the tuner plugged in. We usually have it. Where's the end here? We usually have the tuner attached with a jumper to the radio, like this, and then the antenna attached to the tuner by putting the antenna there. And then you've got the, the ASU-8800. Yes, which we attach the antenna there. Okay, what about and grounding? How are you guys grounding everything? Well, we have this, um, well, we have things like Power this strip. at home connected to um, a wall so that it can be grounded. And in this open spot here, we put the end of one of these which is still attached to the wall right now. So when we get home, we're going to put it in this slot and then tighten it, and then which the radio is that grounded. that thing that we put in at home is also a long set of wire. Yeah, and that's, that's actually called thing. a grounding bush. We got that yeah. at um, Home Depot. And then up here, then we got with all the plugs, I'll say what that is. Um, let's go to the front and tell me what it's called, the, the name of it. Live wire. Live wire. It's a live wire power conditioner like you would see in an audio uh, box for going out to on the road. And it will actually uh, condition the, a dirty um, waveform and make it kind of like a sine wave. So if you're at field day and you've got somebody that brought a generator from uh, Harbor Freight or Walmart or something that doesn't have a very good uh, sine wave on it, that will make it a little bit better so it doesn't mess up your radio. Um, oh. The lady who passed her exam, she also did something else. She built something. What did she build? She built a J-pole for her to use when she gets her radio. And what did, what was that made out of? That was made out of um, ladder line. Ladder, yeah, it was a line. Slim Jim J-pole that you guys did a speech on. Yeah, and we tested it with the um, UHF VHF antenna analyzer, and it actually works on two meters and seventy centimeters very well. Good. So, what else do we want to talk about about Field Day? Anything? Um, the right. food was good. People from stepping on the wires. Grace put in something. People from stepping on the wires. And I put that stuff on it. Very good. All right. So, if you have any questions about the uh, BioNO batteries or the Power Film solar uh, solar collectors or the uh, the new Buddy Pole. Power Mini. Uh, you can also always contact us through YouTube or hamradio.world. So for now, we will say Seven Adios! Day Seven day three. Smiley face.